speak for themselves. Ah! Ah! Ship ahoy, you lovers! All aboard for the cruise of the Paul Parrot, that thrilling, exciting story of the sea. If you'll remember, when last we heard of Captain Dalton and his first mate, Wainwright, they were powerless to capture Altesti the Spaniard, who, for some mysterious reason, has been dogging their heels. For Altesti, grabbing hold of Johnny and using him for a shield, evaded them. Shots were fired, and Sue and Breckenridge, hearing the commotion, ran outside the dock office of Grange and Sons, but too late. Altesti, dragging Johnny behind him, disappeared into thin air. But who is that hiding behind those casts? Why, it's Altesti himself, and he still has Johnny prisoner. Let me go, I tell you. Let me go. You're hurting me. Hold your tongue, amigo. I've given that swine Dalton this slip, and if you make one sound, I will... Oh, you try to keep me, will you? I'll do more than that, you... Ouch! Ow. Now, will you behave yourself? Uh, good. Then follow me. <laughs> no, 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 I will follow you. Just keep moving till you come to that big cask. Uh, come back here. Come back here. Uh, you would try to run away, huh? I will have to teach you manners, huh? Stop. You're choking me. Now, push that cask aside. Push it, I say. Uh, good, good. Now, I will raise this trapdoor in the dock planking, so... Now, down you go. I will follow. Here we are on the big timbers underneath the dock. Pancho, where are you, Pancho? I am here, senor. Ah, good. It is so dark down here I couldn't see you. Si, senor. The crew of the Pal Parrot have not boarded her as yet, so I think we will be able to carry out our plans. Uh, did you secure a boat, Pancho? Si, si, senor. I have it tied away down at the other end of the wharf. Ah, good. Then let us be moving. I've had some trouble with this boy. So if he makes an outcry, Pancho, you know what to do. Si, si, senor. Here is the trap door. You first, Pancho. We will keep this boy between us. I will follow in the rear. If you shout, you will be sorry. Eh, Pancho. Si, <laughs> senor. Just follow me. Be careful. I see some of the ship keepers close by. Uh, don't worry, my friend. It is too dark for them to see us. <laughs> Make haste. See, si, senor, we go very quietly. The boat is close by. Remember, boy, if you value your life, not a sound. You'll pay for this if I ever see Captain Dalton again. Ah, here. Here is the boat, senor. Ah, ah good. Climb in. You first, Pancho, then the boy. Take hold of the oars, boy. You seem stout enough, and to keep you out of mischief, I will let you row us to the Pal Parrot. I hope this boat springs a leak and drowns us all. <laughs> oh, you do, eh? Here, Pancho, take the oars from the boy. I wish to have a talk with him. Si, senor. Now, you are Captain Dalton's cabin boy, are you not? Ah, you may as well answer, because I know you are. And as such... You will be able to help me carry out my plan. But I tell you, today is the first time I ever saw Captain Dalton. Ah, uh, so I will show you what I do to boys who lie. Careful, senor. You will upset the boat. Ah, uh, you're right, Pancho. We will attend to this boy after we have done with our business. I think we will be able to carry out our plans after all. I will show this pig Dalton how to act before I am through with him. Si, senor. You are a very smart man. He's Captain Dalton. He is no match for you. <laughs> you are right, Pancho. Tonight, we board the Pal Parrot. And we find what we are looking for. While this Yankee captain and his crew are hunting for me in New Bedford, I will be aboard the ship. <laughs> Blow me down, George. He's given us the slip sure enough this time. Right you are, matey. A slick one, if ever I saw one. Worst of all, he has that lad, Johnny. I feel responsible for him. 
If it wasn't for me, the lad wouldn't be in such a predicament. Ah, uh, the boy will be all right. As soon as he was a safe distance away, the Spanish swab most likely let him go. Uh, I'm afraid not. The boy would have shown up by this time. The lad most likely is halfway back home by now, with enough of the sea life for a while. I hope so. Here we are at the dock office. Mr. Grange will be waiting for us. We've got to get aboard the Powell Parrot tonight. Mr. Grange has given orders to sail tomorrow early, and there's no disappointing the owners in spite of anything. Oh, there you are, Dalton. What luck, Annie? Not a bit, Mr. Grange. He gave us the slip completely. And that poor boy, what about him? Now, don't worry, Suzanne. That boy will take care of himself. I'll test him, most likely set him free when he was out of sight and in danger of being captured. I hope so, but I can't help but... I to... hope so, too. Oh, if I could lay my hands on that... Now, th that's enough, Sue, that's enough. There'll be no more talk of the boy. Besides, we have a lot to do to prepare before we get on board the Paul Parrot. But, Ezra, why can't I go with you on the boat? Now, Sue, we've argued about that many times before. You are not going with us, and that is final. Ezra Grange, just because you're my brother and much older, don't think you can bully me. I've made up my mind that I'm going to see on a whaler. And if I don't go on the pole parrot, I'll go on another one. See if I don't. Well, she certainly is a headstrong youngster, that one. Unfortunately, yes, Mr. Wainwright. Takes after all the rest of the Granges. We're all that way. What we want, we get, eventually. Well, Mr. Grange, we're ready, if you are. No, I'm all set. Breckenridge is aboard, as well as Dickens, to see that all the crew is on. I wonder what that Spaniard was trying to do. I'll bet he's somewhere right now, plotting how to get back at us. Ease up on those oars, Pancho. Si, senor. Now, now, let's climb aboard very softly. If we are quiet, the blockhead standing night watch will never see us. Ah, we have nothing to fear, senor. There is no one aboard, and the crew will not be here until tomorrow. Uh, get aboard, then. Look sharp. Pancho, you first. The boy and I will follow. Careful now. I'll make the boat fast. Up the ladder with you, boy. Remember to remain very quiet. I hope the whole crew is aboard when we get on deck. I am sorry to disappoint you, my friend, but you will not get your hope. Ah, there is no one about, senor. That dog of a night watch is no doubt fast asleep somewhere. But there must be someone aboard, so let us proceed with caution. Now, now, boy, as cabin boy of this ship, I want you to tell where the captain's cabin is. I don't know where it is. And if I did know, I wouldn't tell you. There is no use of us quarreling. Now be a good little boy. Tell me, where is the captain's cabin? I'm telling the truth. I don't know. And I'm warning you that I have not to be trifled with. I'm here to find something, and I will not leave the ship until I get it. How long have you been cabin boy? I've never been a cabin boy. Then perhaps you can tell me how long you have been on this ship. This is the first time I've ever been aboard. I'm giving you fair warning, boy, so you better answer my questions. Where is Mr. Granger's cabin? I don't know. Ah, uh, then, uh... Maybe Mr. Grange is bunking in the captain's cabin, huh? You seem to know so much. You ought to know where Mr. Grange's cabin is. Uh, senor, maybe you would like for me to take one of these casks, put the boy in it, and then throw it overboard so that the sharks could have something to eat, eh, senor? Uh, you have heard what Pancho said. Now will you tell me where Mr. Grange's cabin is? Or must we throw you to the sharks? Well, I didn't do anything. Honestly, I didn't. I don't want you to throw me overboard. Then, as cabin boy of this ship, will you tell me where Mr. Granger's cabin is located? But I've already told you. I don't know. Then perhaps this will help to freshen your memory. And this will help to freshen yours. Oh, you will kick me out. I tell you, I'm not the cabin boy, and I don't know where Mr. Granger's cabin is. Pancho. This boy is a stubborn one. Uh, like an ox, senor. Uh, and here is what we do to the oxen. Uh, uh, oh, head him off, Pancho. Don't let him get away. Uh, fear not, senor. I have him. Uh, so you will try to escape, eh? Here, Pancho, we have no time to lose. We will attend to the boy later. There, in that box, I see a rope. Secure it, and we will make certain this boy will not get away. Si, senor. Ah, here is the rope, senor. Ah, good. Now, I will bind his arms behind him. Uh, grab the other end of the rope, Pancho. Tie his legs. Si, senor. There. Get out this way. There. There. He's bound securely. Now, that oil cask, 
It is empty. Put the boy in it and close the lid. You just wait till Captain Dalton hears of this. Uh, bind his mouth with the bandana, Pancho. Do not worry, my stubborn one. Your captain friend will never hear of this. There. Good, he's in the cask. Now, place on the lid. Si, senor. Come along, Pancho. We have no more time to lose. We will tend to the boy later. But now we will go below and see if we can locate Granger's cabin. Ah, there is the hatch. Come, Pancho. Si, senor. Ah, there is a door. I think I remember that. Oh, Lord, who's that? Ah! Senor, hurry, they will find us. Shh, 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 Pancho, quiet. Oh, no, me down, Mr. Jowett. I'm a seafitted lover if I didn't hear voices. I did too, Dickon. Let's go aft and investigate. Ah, 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 she blows. Ah! That's right, Mr. Jowett. I just saw two figures dart around the corner. After them, Dickon. Stop, whoever you are. Stop, or I'll shoot you, sneaking lovers. Well, well, blow me down. Another peg leg. I'll teach him. Well, thank goodness the mystery of the peg leg is cleared up. It wasn't Dickon after all that Johnny saw talking to Al Testi. It was Pancho. But then after all, there are lots of peg leg sailors. Will Dickon and Mr. Jowett capture Al Testi and Pancho? Or will they escape once more in their boat? What can Al Testi be looking for? And what did he remember when he saw the cabin door? At least Johnny, although tied and gagged in the whale oil cask, is safe for the time being. Be sure to listen for the further adventures of the cruise of the Paul Parrot. Your Paul Parrot announcer is Dave Ward.